I just checked into my second hotel here in New York. I'm in Tribeca now and I picked this hotel. I didn't know, yeah, obviously you never know until you get inside if it's big or not, but I saw it had these shelves here and I was like, the cats are gonna love this and it's pet friendly, so that's good. That's my deal. <laughs> There's the sink and I have a little desk. I booked this place for five nights so far. At the last place, I just kept extending it. I'm actually happy. I think this will be good because it has good lighting. That's important to me, it's lighting. Very important. All right, cats are ready to explore the room. Jeez, I tell you, this is so much work to lug them around. <laughs> he looks so big in this room. Oh my God, he looks like a giant. Guys, look at this. There's a button for the shades. <laughs> it's okay, Violet, it's okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Got their Philly blanket on the bed. Well, this is weird. I am going on a date right now with some guy that I just met. I, this is, I, you know, I'm not used to this, so this is my New York life. <laughs> So that was an interesting experience. That was my third day in New York. <laughs> Randomly went on a date. <laughs> I guess you would say it's a date, but like not exactly. Also, I feel weird because he probably will see this video because we got to talking. This is another reason why I feel weird about dating. It's like usually when you meet people or date, I guess, they ask you, what do you do? or whatever and like the conversation started as like just an interaction that turned into i guess a date at the end of it which i wasn't expecting anyway so oh nyla she just bit my toe she's under the blanket since she bit my toe anyway i always feel weird about like meeting people and that's probably one reason why i never wanted to date for so long was because i don't like this interview process and like the fact that people can literally look up my life and see everything I've ever done and I can't do the same and also it's just freaking awkward I don't even know if it was considered a date because it was super last minute and spur of the moment like we're hanging out and like hey well you want to just grab some food I'm like yeah why not I always go with the flow with things and I hadn't eaten yet so I was like yeah sure I will be honest New York men, they definitely tried to move very fast. Obviously, there was an opportunity for him to try and make things go further, and I declined, obviously, because I'm not that girl. I just hope that all guys here are not, like, super... He wasn't pushy. I wouldn't say he was pushy, but, like, trying to get each other in that quick, because that's... I don't like that. And also, I feel weird because he might see this one day. Guys, <laughs> I just bumped into Tammy. She's a viewer. What are you buying today? What'd oh, you I got. Um, <laughs> We're in Sephora. Burberry her from a gift certificate. Thanks. So, $99 long. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's a good deal. Mm -hmm. I got the JLo face cream. I've been dying to try it. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Another peek. This is her boyfriend, oh, Kevin. Wow. You're watching me. Hi, how are you? Say so what up to the peeps. <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to say something. I'm literally out on a Sunday night, a rainy Sunday. I'm out to dinner by myself. And I'm okay with that. What I'm really enjoying about the city is that almost everywhere I go, I see these signs. because it's so true. I'm here in New York. I don't know that many people, but I want you guys to like, don't be afraid to do things and don't wait for other people to do what you want and what you enjoy. Like, I enjoy going out to eat and I'm not gonna stop myself from doing things I enjoy because I might not have to do You know what I mean? Like, do what you want for yourself. Today, I think I'm in Tribeca at the moment. I wanted to explore some. I'm walking on this beautiful trail. Oh, I love it here. Reminding me why I want to be here. I've only been on the trail for like five minutes, that's it. And there's so much to see already and explore, and I love it. Even this, something so simple like that, I just think it's so pretty. I really appreciate artwork and architecture. So I am still in Tribeca because that says Tribeca. This side of Tribeca I like as a neighborhood to live. This is the Rockefeller Park. <laughs> like my history lessons, guys. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Look.
from my observation, there's a lot of parents and a lot of kids of all different ages. Not sure I'd want to live here because I don't really want to be in like a kitty neighborhood, even though it seems very nice. Bernie? Bernie? I just love New York so much. Look at these dumb, cute little swings. And I also love that you can do whatever you want in New York and it doesn't matter. Anywhere, anytime. Look at this guy doing his samurai stuff all by himself in the middle of this area. New York City accident. What did he even hit? Yeah, well, the man hit me, the, the cuspid on it. Come on, man. Relax, relax. Where's the other car? Oh my god. They drove up on the car. That must have been crazy. Taxis went all the way around there. So, you know what's really exciting for me is taking myself out to eat all the time. I'm really enjoying it and I don't care that I'm alone. Because I've been wanting to try this pasta for so long. It just looks so good. Oh my god, it smells amazing. And it's homemade. They have a pasta bar and they make it all fresh inside. Guys, I just have to share this with you. I literally hid this toilet paper on the shelf up here because Bamboo kept ripping it. He freaking climbed up and starts to it again. Stop it! <laughs> hey.